Thank you for joining for this fitness Pilates session where we are going to move in a very slow but intense way. For this session, I want you to be all focused in engaging your muscle, not just your pelvic floor and your core, core muscle, as I always mention in some of my other sessions, but also feeling the burn in the particular muscle area that we are working in. This is a full body session. We're not going to work that long, but we're going to work with all the intensity moved into our focus on our movements. So you're not going to be disturbed by anything around you. This time is all for you and just you. And I will guide you and I will help you from one exercise to the next exercise. So let's go. We are going to start out by doing a sumo squat position. So in a big distance between our legs, we are just going to relax and ease off our shoulders. And all by now, we are going to try to inhale, reaching up and Feel the focus returning into our body and reaching up, inhaling and bring those arms back out and two more, reaching up, feeling every little part of your muscle getting into this stretch and one more lifting up and bringing your arms down. So we are going to go for a sumo squat all the way down and we are going to go up on our feet reaching up and back down again so slowly movement moving up on our toes and bring it back down again bending our knees squeezing as we are standing up here on the top we are feeling the squeeze in our thigh muscle calf muscle and of course bringing our core into work so we can keep the position Moving back down again, look after your alignment, chin is in and chest is up, bring those arms up. So you still have the focus in concentrating and contracting your muscle in your lower body and now we're going to put a little bit more focus to our upper body. So bring our arms out and as we go out, just keep going, we are squeezing our triceps, our arms. So down we go, up on our toes. And of course, make sure that you're inhaling and exhaling. Two more to go all the way down. Keep those knees out in a safe, good position. And back again, lifting up. Bring your legs a little bit closer. We are going to lean over for our right leg, engaging our core muscle, lifting up that left leg. And we are going to go into a courtesy lunges but try not to touch the floor with your left leg. So keeping yourself up here, bring that knee up, left knee up to our left arm, going back in a slow motion way. When we're standing here on our right leg, make sure when you're doing the flexion in your standing leg, that you keep that knee behind your toe all the way down, squeezing, feeling your glute area working on your standing leg. Go as low as you can, reaching out with those arms, keeping that left leg up. Bring that leg up in a slow and controlled way. All the way down, squeezing, reaching up. Try to engage your core muscle. It's helping you to keep the balance going down and up. Hopefully you can feel it in your standing leg right now. And one more going down and reaching up with that leg and putting it down. And we are going to alternative to the other leg. So all the way or the weight on our left leg, reaching that leg up and bring it back squeezing and bring right leg up to your right arm engaging those core muscle moving slowly and try to remember to keep that standing leg knee behind your toe all the way down reaching up and keep that challenge here Going down, feeling the squeeze in our left hip area. Slowly moving down, keeping your focus 
and try to don't forget the breathing. I know when we are focused and concentrating, we tend to stop breathing, not stop, but not very effect effective breathing, going down, squeezing, feeling your inner thigh as well. Oopsie, two more, all the way down, as far as you can go, squeezing, lifting up, and one more, going down, and lifting that leg up, getting back into a wide position, bringing arms down, knees out to the side, inhaling, and going up here, standing up here, squeezing those thigh muscle, bring arms down and up again. So when you're doing this movement, you should feel your muscle working around your shoulder area and your scapula. So just bring it down, reaching up. And of course, try to stand on your tippy toes if possible. So every time we're pulling that arm down, filling in in your muscle. So it's easy to be standing here, just bring that arm down and up again. But no, we are engaging our muscle because we're thinking about nothing else than reaching down with our elbow, inhaling and exhaling, staying up here, bringing both arms down and reaching up. So bring it down and up. Now we're going to go all the way to a squatting position, pushing off something very heavy, squeezing our thigh muscle, bring those arms down, pushing up and squeezing. So try to imagine you have something that you're pulling down, squeezing and pressing up. So actually you should feel your heart rate racing a bit here, squeezing and feeling it. Even though you don't have any dumbbells in your hands or any bands, you are still doing the movement, bringing that squeeze into a muscle, keeping chin in and chest up for a good quality movement. Squeezing and ask yourself, am I thinking about anything else than feeling my body? Then just come back here with me, pushing up for another two. Bring those arms down and pushing up. Another one, one squeezing and arms up. Getting back into center, standing on our right leg. We are gonna lift that left knee up and we're gonna straighten it out, squeezing our thigh muscle and bringing those arms along. So keep that position on our right leg, squeezing. And as we're standing here, try to feel your muscle being engaged in both the standing leg and the moving leg. As we go back, squeezing those, doing a retraction with your shoulder blades and pushing forward, keeping the contraction in your core muscle and pushing forward and bring those arms back. So the only thing I'm thinking about right now is to of course, try to keep the balance, but feeling the muscle in my upper body, core area, and my, yes, actually our full body. Bring it back here, squeezing, doing the full load movement, reaching out, bring it back again. And just for a few more, squeezing, and back we go reaching out with that toe, try to touch me. So pushing forward and bring it back. And one more and keep it here. So try to keep the balance here, moving arms out. And we are gonna go for a little bit of a knee flexion on our standing right leg, pushing those arms out. Feel like that you're pushing two walls away from you. Pushing, and as we push outwards, we are squeezing those core muscles a little bit more. Four more. Four, and bring it in. Keep that leg up. Two more. Yep, try not to lower your 
lift leg and one more pushing up squeezing and come back into center changing to standing on our left leg reaching up here and bring those arms in a position in front of you and we are just gonna pushing forward straighten our right leg feeling those muscle kicking in and bring it back so extension and flexion in our lifted right leg so pushing forward squeezing those core muscles give yourself the time and thoughts into feeling it and hopefully you get the warming into your body so pushing forward squeezing and bring that leg back again and remember as we go forward squeezing a little bit extra for our core muscle and back here and do the retraction with our shoulder blades pushing bring it back keep that balance on your left leg pushing forward bring it back squeezing for another two up with that leg squeezing keep it up and engage your hip flexors and pushing forward and back again and one more pushing yep i know you can do it keep it in a stable position and we are just gonna stay here pushing our arms out to the side and do remember you can go down on the floor instead of standing on an exercise mat we are gonna push out and bring that those arms in again pushing and in so pushing off those two walls squeezing lowering in that standing leg but try to keep your knee behind your toe pushing off and in again and as we push off we try to engage our core muscle a little bit extra so if you really are focusing and engaging your muscle you will feel an entire burn in your full body here pushing off bringing arms in and we are going for four and back in it's okay if you can feel it in your hip area pushing off remember that retraction with your shoulder blade in again back up and one more going down and bring it up coming back safely on both legs try to be standing in the one of the end of the exercise mat we are now going to roll all the way down saying hello to our feet and easing off our neck making a little bit of a stretch in our hamstring muscle easing off that neck and by now you are engaging your core area a little bit more going out to an upward dog so we are putting our hands in a position where you can still keep your feet all the way down in the exercise mat so engaging our core muscle we are going to go up on our toes and we are going to move out to a plank position and standing here we are just gonna put our hands right underneath our shoulders and we are gonna lift left leg up and go down to a push-up so slowly movement down standing here and flexing in your lifted leg and an extension lifting up again putting that left leg down and we are going to alternative with the right leg so go all the way down and flexion and extension in your lifted leg up again and bring that leg down of course you can do the push-up on your knees instead bring that leg up flexion and extension looking right down and do remember we're not going to stay here for that long lifting up so try to keep the quality engaging your core muscle bring it out back up again a few more on each leg going down staying down here 
flexion, extension, pushing off, down with that foot, bring it down, flexion, extension, keep the leg up, up to standing position, and one more each. And hopefully you're feeling warm and nice in your body now, you should just focusing and feeling it in your full body, up, straight out, and pushing off, coming back into an upward dog, pushing those heels down, easing off your neck, and inhale and exhale, and go into a little bit further in. We are now going to go a little bit further in with our right leg, bringing that left leg up and out to the side. And we are going to squeeze it and we are going to do a pumping movement. So lifting up a little bit down, squeezing, lifting it up a little bit out to the side and trying to keep both your hands stable position in your exercise mat. So bring that leg up and to the side and a little bit down again. And the leg we're standing on, our right leg, is just the east off relax knee joint. So pushing up, back down again. Eight and seven. Let me do the counting and you're focusing it and getting that squeeze in your glute area. <sighs> Engaging your core muscle relaxing and releasing in your neck for another four. Don't break that leg down before you can fill it in your glute area. Two more. Squeezing, bringing it up and down again. Putting both feet down, lifting and rolling up for a slow movement all the way up just to get a little bit of blood back from our face. Moving back, inhale, exhale, reaching up, feeling the full stretch in the full body, chin in, and we are rolling down, just like sort of diving into a nice pool, going down here, moving out, standing in a position where we are going to be able to lift up the opposite leg. So now we're standing on our left leg, lifting that right leg up, squeezing and try to ease off in your whoopsie, standing knee and we're gonna pull it up down again. So squeezing and keeping both hands in the exercise mat, easing off your neck but engage your core muscle and feel it in your entire area around your lifted leg, squeezing that glute area. Don't think about anything else besides, of course, keeping the balance and engaging your core area, pushing up, moving that leg down, lifting back down again. And as we're squeezing that glute area, just squeeze a little bit extra in that core area. Don't think about anything else than feel it in your hip area, squeezing, waking up that often a little bit lazy glute area. <sighs> Bring it up for another eight and seven, but don't lower your leg before you feel the squeeze. Then don't mind my pounding. <sighs> Pushing it up, bringing it down for another four, squeezing, pushing up, <sighs> two more, and one more, and bring that leg down, and walk yourself into a plank position, standing on our forearms in a straight line. So keeping that position here, and we are just gonna move our right arm up, turning all the way into a side plank, reaching up and bring it back into center, and up we go. So reaching up for that arm, back into center. Straight arms up and back into center. And ask yourself, 
Do I feel my core area, my oblique muscle? Then you're on the right path. <sighs> Squeezing, reaching up. <sighs> Lifting that arm up. Letting yourself have an ease of neck, so chin in, squeezing, and back again. One more to go. Up we go, and into center. We are just gonna move up on our straight arms into a straight plank position, and we are gonna lift off that right leg, squeezing and coming up. And we're going to bring it like a circle into our right arm. So, leg up, up on our toe, bring that leg down and up to the same arm, squeezing up. Make a nice well circle all the way up, back again. Two more to go. Bring that knee out and away from your center of your body. And one more, bring that leg out and back in again, getting into a plank position. Just stay put here. I'm going to turn around so it's a little bit easier to see. Engaging still our core muscle and the opposite leg. Now, bringing that left leg up, making a circle away from our body. Bring that knee up to your elbow. Lifting up again, feeling the squeeze in your glute area. Circle, circle away and pushing in. Lifting up, up on our toe. Engaging your core muscle. Hopefully you'll be sweating and feeling it on your, your heart pounding a little bit more. And that's because you are engaging your muscle in a proper way. Moving leg up, down, bending. Squeezing, moving away from the body, making a kind of a circle with our knee. Squeezing, feeling your whole core here, but especially in the side, you're moving your leg. Up we go, two more. Bring that leg out for a little bit of more of a challenge. Bring that leg in. And one more, squeezing and up we go, both feet down, relaxing ourselves down, slowing down into a line position. Keep those hands underneath our shoulders, chin in, pushing off and reaching up, getting a little bit of a stretch in our ab area. And please look after your elbows and all the way down again. Inhale, exhale, pushing off straight up and of course you can stay down here if that's more comfortable reaching that chest up no unlocking your elbows back down again let those arms do the work and keep that chin in bring it up lifting your chin upwards getting a little bit of extension in your neck and back down again keep those arms in Pushing up for another two, squeezing, reaching up, feeling your arms lowering back slowly and controlled. And one more, pushing off and all the way down and bring those that buttocks back to your heels for a nice good stretch. Back on all four, putting toes into the exercise mat, engaging our core muscle, lifting up with just a few centimeters off, and we are looking for the shoulder stability, so bring ourselves up, not hanging out down here. And we are just gonna move one leg at the time, forward and back to the same position, feeling our core area squeezing slowly movement. Everybody can do this, but you are going to contract your core area back into the same position. <sighs> Squeezing. Bring 
it out. Inhale, exhale. Getting back into the same position and try to look after your knees have not lifted the whole way up above from the exercise mat. Just keeping those knees off the mat. Bring it up, down, bring it up, down. And leaning over all our way to our right arm, squeezing, reaching up, bring that arm down. And alternative to the other side, straight arm up, back into center, bring your heels down into upward dog. Moving hands back to your feet, leaning it back on our heels, getting a good nice stretch in our hamstring muscle. Rolling all the way up, bring those shoulders back into a nice relaxed position and distance between our feet and bring that arm back into center back again and one more on each arm bring it back in and back in and give yourself a little bit of a hand inhaling going up and back again yep we did it challenge our balance using our full body in a slow movement and hopefully like me you can feel the heat in your body reaching up and out again thank you for joining me hopefully you got something out of this content and if you did please give it a like a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe to my channel it's always great for a channel and motivates me to make even more sessions so uh, until i see you next time take good care stay healthy stay strong and enjoy life bye